Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, we're talking tomatoes. We've come down to Yendin Gourmet Tomatoes up near Ballarat. I've got with me John Alford, who's an absolute tomato hydroponic expert. Hello, John. How are you, mate? Pleased to meet you. Welcome to Food Toy. Thank you. So, about the greenhouse itself, um, I noticed that there's plastic on the outside and plastic on the inside. What's the purpose of that? Well, uh, through the window, we need to we need to heat the shed, and obviously, right, 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 keep, yeah. the, keep the heat in. So. Yeah. What we try and do is, uh, we've got two layers of plastic and there's a uh, low pressure fan that blows, blows the um, plastic up. Ah, and that's basically okay. insulation. So is, is that the noise that we hear? Well, yeah, the wind? yeah, yeah, yeah. It probably is, yeah. Yeah, okay. And that worries us sometimes, the wind worries us. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many sort of plants do you grow here, roughly? Well, we've got two sheds here, and this shed is about three and a half thousand. And yeah. in the back shed, we've got four and a half thousand. Okay. And that, that basically yields all, all year round. Yeah? yeah, and the sheds are staggered so that uh, through winter I've got new plants starting off, and now the sheds just finishing off. So but as far as I suppose the vines, they, what do they sit in when they're growing? They uh, grow. I grow in cocoa peat, which is basically a fibre, yes. and it holds the moisture. So right. um, it releases the moisture when the plant requires the water. So it's a good, good product for growing. Yeah. Good mulch yeah. as well. So okay. yeah, how, these vines are really, really long. How, how long do they sort of grow on average? Well, they end up because you go on eleven months. You you, you end up probably twelve metres long. In right. 11 months, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they basically yield, obviously, as the plant grows up, they continually yield as you go. They do. Which yeah. goes into your, your, your pruning as you go along. Yeah, yeah. We've got to do leaf every, every week and we um, do head work, which is, you know, uh, truss pruning, what we call truss pruning and, and pulling out the lap. Like how, many, how many fruit do you think you get off one tomato plant? Uh, you can get up to 12 to 15 kilos off wow. each plant. Off one plant. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. And you grow them at home and you, you know, you're lucky to get one or two, aren't you? Yeah, Excellent. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is something interesting, I suppose a, a lot of people have this I suppose, idea that the smell comes from the tomato, it's actually from the leaf isn't it? Yes, yeah. Yeah. that's where you smell of your tomato, yeah. and in the kale it's on the tomato itself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So basically if you, if you take these off the tomato, that's where your smell is going to go as well. Well it's exactly. taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 90% of it will go, yeah. Yeah, that's a, they're tracks. Do they have another purpose as well, John? They do, they're, they're actually uh, no, no different to the hospital heating. You've seen the hospital yeah, heating, you've got yeah. water in the, in the rooms going through the yeah. uh, radiator. Yeah. It's the same sort of system. We've, We've come down here to your packing shed and your nutrient shed. Yeah, this is obviously, I suppose, in a way, it's the heart of your operation. So it's well, it's in the summer time, it's full on in here. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. 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 we've got fruit going everywhere. Yeah. I'm mixing the nutrients every, every three or four days. Yeah. Really? Well, I've, um, I've got all the nutrients uh, laid out here, yeah. and I yeah. use this the uh, green bin behind you. That's oh, yeah. like a big uh, washing machine. Yeah. Put the water yeah. in there, add the nutrients, and let, just let it mix up. And then um, when it's okay. dissolved, yeah. I um, put it in the, in the tanks behind the seat. Okay, then that just diffuses itself all the way, well, all the way along. When, when, when the plants are feeding, it's like yeah. a venturi, it actually draws the uh, nutrients in at a set level. Right. Right to the plant, so they're, they're getting their nutrients that they need. Yeah, so it's completely, it's basically completely controlled, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. very, very much controlled. We've got a computer system here that we use to uh, monitor uh, the yes. yeah. uh, nutrients that the plants are getting, and that varies from, from the time of year, the winter time. It's, uh, we give them more nutrients yeah, because right, of the right. colder weather, and in the summertime we give them less. Less, yeah. 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 Also, I noticed that the, the roofs, do they vent as well? Yes, yes, they, yes they vent. They let the you know the bad air, the high humidity air out, and let right. fresh air in, so it makes them breathe. So they keep breathing a lot. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, that's fantastic, isn't it? So yeah. this is obviously the yeah, heart of your operation. So, John, thank you very much for coming along. Thank Food you, too. Today, And we look forward to cooking with your tomatoes in a minute. All right. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. No.